Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have the last day of this month of September. So we're gonna also have a look on the monthly time frame. So make sure to stick in here till the end and moon up the like, subscribe to the channel and tick also the little bell to get always notified as soon as I upload the video because I do daily TA videos on the Bitcoin price. So let's start straight here in the one hour time frame because Bitcoin currently after breaking out from this rising wedge didn't recover again above our previous support which now is our new resistance here at around $10,800 and uh, as you know by now we are just trading sideways so we don't have much action but we're gonna compare now the Bitcoin price and also the DXY because Bitcoin the more it's trading sideways here although in the lower time frames in my opinion it's getting more dangerous that we will see continuation to the downside especially if here the 20 and 50 moving average are crossing below the 200 moving average and if you're starting to trade like this I think it is very soon the case that we're gonna have here a possible dump below the 200 moving average so again below $10,600 and in that case we should target in at least the $10,300 to $10,000 level for the short to mid term. And in the one hour you can also see that currently we are trading below the 50 level in the RSI so that means we are trading on the bearish side and as long as we are not able to go again above the 50 level here in the one hour we are still shifted to the downside. I'm still expecting here some bounces at around 10,640 but if it's going to be sustainable this is what we're going to have to see once we're seeing a bounce. If we have a one hour close below 10,640 then prepare here for continuation to the downside. And uh, if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that also here we are trading in the lower end. We are right at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And always when we squeeze in this tiny channel, usually we always have a big breakout to the upside or to the downside. And in this case, I think it's more likely to the downside. Also because we have Stochastic coming down here to oversold condition and also KSD and MACD are shifted to the downside. And if we compare it to the DXY, you can see here exactly the opposite. Here we are trading above the 20, 50 and 200 moving average and also we completely cooled off here the RSI after being oversold we recovered straight back up above the 50 level and right now I'm expecting here continuation at least to retest here this $94 resistance that we currently have up here. So the DXY here in the one hour time frame is looking way better than the Bitcoin price and that's why I'm still expecting some more continuation to the downside in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock markets today so far the stock markets futures are doing quite badly but also more like sideways similar like the bitcoin price so we also have to wait for today's opening of the stock market in the us and now we can go back to the bitcoin chart and let's see what we have here in the four hour time frame because currently also here we are still trading below the 200 moving average and right now also below the 20 only the 50 is saving us so far to break further down and the problem is here that the RSI is now dropping below the 50 level so this is very dangerous in my opinion and that's why I think as soon as we're gonna have one hour or four hour candle closes below $10,600 that will be the confirmation that we will see continuation to the downside and in my opinion we will face some support here at around $10,300 which although in the past acted as a very strong support and resistance and if we're not able to keep up with this price level then maybe we can reach even here this $10,100 which right now should be our new support at least for now if we would lose $10,100 then be prepared to see the price dropping at least towards $9,000 and we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour because here you can see that we are also trading in the lower end here. So we are still trading in the bearish side in the Bollinger Band and that signals that we will see continuation to the downside potentially to retest this $10,600 pretty soon. MACD, KSD and Stochastic are all shifted to the downside. So I will not be surprised if today we're going to see continuation to the downside potentially to test 10600 or maybe even drop lower. 
and if we have a look into the DXY in the 4 hour you can see that currently I got a buy signal in my own indicator and also the RSI is now testing here the 50 level after coming down to oversold condition and as you can see here we are trading above the 200 moving average which is right here at the support of 93.20 and we're fighting now with the 20 moving average so the DXY in my opinion is still looking very bullish this looks like it wants to break out here to the upside from this 94.70 the resistance that we have currently here and if we have a breakout here to the upside this is where I'm expecting a possible big crash in the Bitcoin price and also in the stock market and that could be really the last step to fill the CME gap down to 9600 and also test important supports that we have at around $9,000 and this in my opinion will be really the last opportunity to buy cheap coins. So if the DXY is breaking out here to the upside, I don't think it's gonna be long lift, probably short lift, maybe test it to on the daily moving average and then get rejected and continue the bear market. But a possible breakout here to the upside, at least for the short to mid term, is very possible in my opinion. So the DXY in the lower time frames is still looking very bullish in my opinion and that is what concerns me a bit here for the Bitcoin price and we can have a look also in the daily time frame because we are still trading along the 20 daily moving average we have sometimes closes above and below the 20 daily but not a clear breakout and not a clear confirmation that the 20 daily is now the new resistance or the new support. RSI is also right at the 50 level all indicators are going flat here the only thing that we can say is that in case that we're gonna have a big breakout to the downside and also lose this support here at $10,100 is that most likely we're coming down to test this old resistance trend line which now should be new support and at the same time also test the 200 daily moving average here at $9,400 meanwhile so the 200 daily moving average right now is coming very very close to the CME gap that we have at $9,600 in the CME chart and that's why I think the more we are trading sideways here the higher the price will be once we're going to see a potential big drop to the downside because while we are trading here above $10,000 day by day the 200 daily moving average is also coming up towards our current price and that means that most likely the drop to the downside will be less huge but I still think wherever the price is here for the 200 daily moving average we will come down to fill also the CME gap at $9,600 dollar and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that currently we are testing here the middle line and this is really the last resort before a potential big drop at least towards $10,100 so the bottom here of the Bollinger Band we have KSD and MACD in even stochastic all trading sideways so here we are just waiting here for a big move to the upside or downside most likely here if we're gonna lose the $10,600 we will see here in all three indicators a bearish cross and this will signal that we're gonna drop here lower towards $10,100 and there maybe we're gonna see an initial bounce but I'm still having my buy orders down here where the 200 daily moving average is lining up because this is where I think we could be bottoming out and where to start DCA into Bitcoin because so far I still think we are waiting here for a decisive move but if we're gonna break down to these levels testing the 200 daily moving average if you're starting to DCA at those levels even if we would drop lower you would have a perfect entry price so if we are coming down to the 200 daily moving average that doesn't mean that you have to go all in you can start to DCA at those price levels because there is still a high chance that we could drop even lower at least for the short to mid term but overall if you're starting here at the 200 daily moving average I think this will be a perfect entry unless of course you have sold everything up here and now you're waiting the price to drop lower and you have no more Bitcoin then of course I would already now recommend you to start buy back into Bitcoin if you have completed completely nothing anymore because of course it is very risky to buy or sell everything so usually I recommend you only to buy and sell with your trading portfolio not with your hodl portfolio because this one should be untouched for at least four years or better even more and we can have a look now into the DXY in the daily because here the daily is still looking like it wants to bounce here from the 20 daily moving average and retest here the resistance at 9470 and possibly break out here to test also the 200 daily moving average that is at least my expectation here for the DXY in the next couple of days and weeks and that of course will be very dangerous for the stock market and also for the 
Bitcoin price. The interesting thing is here though that I got here a sell signal in my own indicator. So in theory we should see continuation here to the downside and in that case I would target here the 93.20 maybe even down here to the 91.20 price level here in the DXY and that of course would lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin and stock market prices. So let's see what will win here. The support of the 20 daily moving average and a possible breakout here to the upside or my own indicator which is giving right now a sell signal. So this is going to be very interesting and I'm still more confident that we will see a breakout here to the upside but maybe before we're gonna see such a breakout we will maybe still continue to trade in this uh, potential falling wedge before we're going to see a breakout here in the DXY to the upside or to the downside. So I'm definitely gonna keep an eye here in the next couple of days what the DXY is going to do and where we're gonna have a, here a potential breakout because that will signal clearly where Bitcoin is also going to head to higher towards 11 and 12k or lower again towards 10 to 9 thousand dollar and now let's go over to the weekly time frame in the bitcoin price because here we're still looking quite bullish we had a red week of course but we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which is very bullish so above ten thousand two hundred dollar RSI is also cooling off down to the 50 level this is what you want to see during a bull market to maintain here the 20 weekly moving average even though there are still chances that we could see some weeks to the downside but important is that we're gonna close these weekly candles above the 20 weekly moving average and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we are still are trapped here between these two moving averages so between 11,130 and 10,230 so I think as long as we're trading in this range here we will not see a clear breakout here to the upside or to the downside in case to the upside the target would be here at around 12,260 in case of a breakout to the downside we could even drop towards $8,200 I don't think we will go that low but at least this 9k area maybe even some weeks below will be very possible to be reached in case of a weekly close below 10,170. We have also MACD, KSD quite flat so also here we are waiting for a big breakout. Stochastic is currently oversold which is good. We can also stay in this area here for quite some time before we're going to see a bounce but in theory here the stochastic is starting to look again more bullish and we could see a possible breakout here to the upside and in that case we will most likely going up again to test 12 so the chance that we're gonna bottom out here at least for now and start again the attack here towards 12k and higher is still in the card so even though there are more signs that we will see a possible correction down towards 9k we still also have some hope left that we could bounce from these levels and go again towards 12 to 14k that is of course still possible and Bitcoin always likes to surprise everyone so that's why this is still in the cards but you also definitely should be prepared in case that the price is going again towards 9k so if you don't have any kind of cash or tether on the sideline be very careful because there is still the chance that we will go lower and then of course you can buy even more Bitcoin if you took out some profits up here and now let's go over to the DXY and open up the weekly time frame here as well because here we have exactly the opposite we have the 20 weekly moving average right here at $95 right here at our resistance so here we have exactly the opposite from the Bitcoin price here we are trading below the 20 weekly moving average and also below all the other moving averages so the DXY is looking in the bigger picture still bearish and I'm still expecting here continuation to the downside and that's why I think even if we will see here a possible breakout to the upside to test here maybe the 96 to 97 dollar level I don't think we will go higher but there is still a chance that we could even go up here towards 100 dollar but I think this is a very realistic price level to be reached in case of a breakout to the upside and in that case we could see a short lift dump in the stock market and Bitcoin price and once the DXY is getting rejected somewhere here and starting to crash again then I'm expecting the opposite in the Bitcoin and stock market prices so then I'm expecting a possible bottom and a big rise in the price especially on Bitcoin and now let's have a look into the monthly time frame in the Bitcoin price so the month of September was so far a red month and this was also expected that this month wasn't too good although in the past September usually was always a red month 
But the good thing is though that we are still far away from the 20 monthly moving average here at $8,700. So the price usually after topping out somewhere, doesn't matter here at 20K or here at 14K, always retrace back towards the 20 monthly moving average, bottom out somewhere here and then start the next parabolic run and if you're always buying the 20 monthly moving average or every time we dip below then you should have done very well so far because you would have bought always the lowest price points so if you really want to wait for a possible retest of the 20 monthly moving average then you have to wait here for these price levels at around 9k so here at around 8700 dollar and that's why i'm telling you my friends it is still very possible that we will come down to test these levels and then bounce from it even though we will have a possible week to the downside maybe even towards 8000 or 7000 dollar this is all going to be very short lived because you can be sure that the traders will be buying up this dip and this could be really the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin so cheap below 10K because here in the bigger picture, we are still in a bull trend and also just watching here at the moving averages in the monthly, you can see that they are all shifted to the upside, so towards to the moon. So in the next couple of weeks and months, it will be very, very important that if you're gonna see the price dropping to not start to panic sell, if you want to take some profits out because you think that price will go lower, then you're still not too late. This is still a good price level to to take out some profits but make sure to be able to rebuy back in once we're gonna drop towards this 9k area because this could be really the last opportunity for everyone before we're starting our parabolic run to the upside i think it's just a matter of time right now and every dip that we're gonna see below 10k will be probably very very short lived and that's why you should be already prepared right now and not once it's too late for such a possible scenario and the same thing also if you want to trade it with leverage so if you want to use small amounts to trade with leverage for example here on Bybit or Femix make sure that you open up already now an account and top up your account with the money that you want to trade with because once we are reaching those levels it may be too late and you will be not prepared so make sure that you have everything set up for this possible scenario it doesn't matter if you go up or down so you will be doing fine and you will not be stressed once we're gonna have big volatility again in the price and if you need any kind of trading exchange accounts you find all the links to those exchanges that I recommend you down below here in the video description because with my links you support the channel and also you will get some rewards using my links and feel free also to join our free discord trading chat and my twitch channel all the links are down below here and if you're new in the crypto space you can buy easily all the cryptos that you want with coinbase or swiss Borg, for example you find all the register link down below here in the video description because if you register with my links you will get some free money as well that you can invest in whatever coin you want so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye